This step-by-step -step installation video for the ClimateRight CR12000 SACH Mini Split Air Conditioner and Heater with quick do-it-yourself connection will provide you with simple, easy-to-understand instructions for proper installation. This project requires two individuals for proper safety and practical installation. Your unit has arrived in two boxes, one containing the evaporator, which is the inside unit that mounts to the wall, and the second box containing the condenser, which will be located or installed securely outside of the home structure or workspace. Before we begin the installation process, here is a simple checklist of tools, equipment, and safety reminders that should be considered for this project. Basic tools include stud finder, level, a pencil, six two-inch wood screws, wall clamps, drill, drill bits, and ladder. You will need a pad or a base for the condenser unit. The base can be made out of fiberglass material, stepping stones, or you can choose to pour a concrete pad. You may also consider a covering for external housing of refrigerant and electrical lines. Always remember to follow standard safety practices when working around electrical equipment and tools. For this demonstration, we will be installing the ClimateRight CR12000 SACH unit in a garage. Other applications where you can use this particular HVAC unit would be room additions, second floor rooms where central air struggles to maintain temperature, workshops, remote structures, and even in closed tents for tailgating which doesn't require any installation. Now that we have everything we need to get started, let's determine the best location for the installation. The first step is to properly identify the best location for wall-mounted installation of the evaporator. This is easily accomplished with the use of a stud finder and a small nail. If you do not have a stud finder, you can find one at your local home improvement store. Next, remove the mounting plate from your indoor unit and position the mounting plate on the wall so that the holes in the mounting plate will line up with the studs. This will help to ensure that the unit will be secured properly to the designated wall. You will want to use a level during this process to keep the plate level in a horizontal position. Although this task can be completed by a single individual, two people assisting during this process can be helpful. Secure mounting plate to wall. Next, you will need to use the two and three quarter inch hole saw to drill a hole through the wall. If drilling through brick, concrete, or stucco, we recommend using a hammer drill with a two and three quarter inch hole saw suitable for that material. This is where the refrigerant lines, electrical wire, and drain line will pass through the wall. It's important to note that when drilling the hole, position it at a slight downward angle from inside to outside to ensure proper drainage of the indoor unit. You are now ready to install the indoor unit. Uncoil the refrigerant lines so that they are at a 90 degree angle from the unit. It is recommended that you have assistance during this process and for guiding the refrigerant lines, electrical, and drain lines through the wall to the outside. Once you have successfully run the lines and wiring, you can now position the evaporator unit so that the top can securely hook on the mounting plate. Then push the bottom of the unit toward the wall until you hear the unit snap onto the mounting plate. This process will complete the installation of the indoor unit. Next, we will focus our attention on completing what needs to be done outside of the structure. You will want to carefully bend lines downward, routing them to the left or right as needed to connect to the condenser portion of the unit. The refrigerant lines are made of copper tubing with a stainless steel sleeve over each of them. The sleeve is to help you from kinking the copper tubing. For better aesthetics, you can choose a variety of coverings of the lines to make this part of the installation more appealing. These coverings can be found at your local HVAC or home improvement store depending on the color and material you prefer. Depending on the structure and location of the unit, simple brackets to the outside wall will suffice, or you may want to consider the use of colored gutter down spouting to run lines through. Another option would be to use commercial line covers, such as the Veritec Speedy Channel covering. Carefully select the location for the outdoor unit and position the unit so that the refrigerant lines will line up with the connections on the condenser unit without any undue stress. You will also want to consider placing the unit near an outside receptacle. If there is not a receptacle close by, you may want to call a licensed electrician to have one installed. The unit does require a 115-volt power supply to operate. 
It is very important that the condenser unit be placed securely on a level foundation. You will want to keep the unit at least 12 inches away from the wall. This allows for proper airflow and service availability as needed. Begin by leveling off the ground and placing the designated pad or base for the unit to rest. The base can be made out of fiberglass material, stepping stones, or you can choose to pour a concrete pad. Gravel or sand under the base can help make the base more secure and assist with keeping the unit level. Once the unit is properly secured to the pad or base and level, we can proceed with connecting the refrigerant line connector. First, remove the shipping plug from the refrigerant line. There may be some slight pressure when you remove the plug, so be careful. Plug the refrigerant lines to the condenser. Once the lines are properly secure, we now are ready for a final inspection of all connections. You will want to determine that the refrigerant line connection is correct, nice and straight with clamps securing the lines to the wall and that the electrical connections are correct. You will also do one final inspection of the indoor unit as well to make sure it is secured tightly on the wall. Once the final inspection is completed, you can now power up the system by plugging the cord into the outside receptacle which again needs to support a minimum of 115 volts. Using the remote, set the temperature set points 5 degrees lower than the room temperature. This will ensure that the unit will not shut off while you are checking the operation of the unit. The unit may take a few minutes to begin operating. Place your hand in front of the unit to make sure cool air is coming out of the unit inside and put your hand in front of the airflow of the condenser outside to fill warm air. This is the heat the evaporator is picking up from inside. This concludes the installation video for the ClimateRite CR12000 SACH split air conditioner and heat pump. Thank you for purchasing the ClimateRite air conditioning and heat pump system. For additional information, visit climaterightair.com or call 800-725-4628 during normal business hours.